Hey folks, and welcome back to Slash Feeds the Beast. Here are some of the beast heads that I've collected so far. I decided instead of mounting them on the wall, I was getting so many, I was gonna pop them in barrels. So I'm very happy that I have a skeleton head now, because now I can become the beast again. Huzzah. But it has no protection on it, so bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> I've been quite busy in this world. You are not here. Go back through the door. Teleport back through the door, you goof. Do it. Do it. Defiant cows. Anyway, you may notice these little lights up here. These are uh, essentially glowstone lamps. I forget which mod actually provides them, but if you look for lamp in the not enough items menu you'll see a, there's a whole bunch of these colored lamps so i made inverted yellow lamps which simply means that they are on all the time unless i give them a redstone current and then they turn off and this yellow lumar that you have here in the middle just die with redstone and glowstone so i replaced all my torches with those made a couple more project tables in here, did a bunch of mining, got some more, you know, filled this out a little bit more than I did before. I don't think this was gold before, and I now have an iron chest for enchanted books, because that's what I've been doing with my levels. If we head down here a little bit. I have, this is temporary. I need to work out a better solution for this. Um, but this is my current setup. I moved some things around, put the engine that powers, that was powering these three items, just put it under here because I don't have a need for these two right now. And, uh, and I'm looking to try to consolidate my power source for the build craft stuff uh, into one place. And this is phase one of me doing that, just rearranging the furniture up here. Uh, hoppers on top of hoppers works pretty well actually because that essentially doubles the amount of space that you have over there I've got 12 slots before it goes into the furnace speaking of the furnace this is now an electric furnace which means that it works just like any of the other electric materials I'm um, trying to like the geothermal generator uh, and so it runs off of the industrial craft power or uh, EU I don't think I had built this yet. This is an extractor. Uh, you can find that in not enough items as well. I think it's four tree taps, um, a machine block, and a uh, electronic circuit. And what that does is you can grab your resin from a tree, throw it in there. I might as well go ahead and do it. I don't know why I'm. <laughs> I don't know why I'm running back and forth like that. But you grab your resin, pop it in there, and it will extract from the resin three, or I, yeah, I think it's three balls of rubber as opposed to the one that you got from cooking it. So it's a great way to really step up your rubber supply. These puppies here are overclockers. We know how to make these. These coolant cells are just water surrounded in tin. And when you add those, it makes the, you can stack them on top of each other. I've made four and it makes the machine process stuff a lot faster. So that's nice. Uh, I also made a compressor, which can be used to create blocks. Um, for example, lapis blocks like so cannot be created simply by putting these in a crafting grid like we're used to. And you can't do that with gold or iron or anything else like that either. You have to put it in a compressor to actually get the block. And they needed the compressor to make lapis lazuli blocks to make this. This is an advanced lap pack. And it's a number of tiers up of storage. It starts all the way down here on a bat pack, which is just a bunch of batteries held together with tin, and then an electric circuit. Uh, then the next step up from that 
is you put that in the middle of six blocks of lapis or these chunks of lazurite. I have not found any lazurite anywhere. And an advanced circuit. And you get a lap pack. So you go from 60,000 EU to 300,000 EU. And then from there, you'd use another advanced circuit and one of these Lapotron crystals which is an energy crystal, which is diamonds or rubies surrounded by redstone. And then that is surrounded by lapis with electronic circuits top and bottom. That gives you the 1000 EU storage capacity on the advanced lap pack. But what's handy about this thing is, I can show you, that's at 9350, right? So if I go ahead and put the lap pack on here and go break something, uh, let's just break this wall here, all the way charged up and some charge taken out of there. So that's really handy for whenever you are mining. It will keep your mining drill charged without having to spend a whole lot of effort carrying batteries around or trying to do whatever else you can think of to recharge your mining drill or just returning back to base over and over again which would be a pain in the butt so that is highly recommended definitely recommend that you go as far to that as you can you obviously need to make the compressor first for the lapis uh, blocks but you can always start with a bat pack and go up from there this here's an MFE. I think I may have had that before, uh, but it is a medium level storage unit. It's one level up from a bat box. And if we go down here, this is the future power supply center for the industrial craft stuff. I have 10 geothermal generators. So far, eight, nine, if you count the one that goes up that way. MFEs, and then this here is a low voltage transformer, LV transformer is what you'd be looking for in the inventory. Everything in industrial craft operates on some sort of voltage at some sort of rate. So these MFEs say they output 128 EU per tick. A tick is about a tenth of a second, I believe. If you were to feed that directly into some of those standard machines up there, like the compressor, the extractor, they would explode because they can't accept more than 32 EU per tick. So you go through this transformer, which reduces the rate, just like a transformer does with electricity in real life. So each of these gets powered by the geothermal generator below it and charges up. This one you can see is charging up and that's re constantly recharging because the extractor is running right now so it's just burning the lava out of here and that keeps all of this stuff going pretty well this is not the best setup but this will keep me going energy wise for quite a while let's see what else is there uh i i was clearing out this basement in order to put in the power supply uh you know the power grid and I dug this whole area out, including the, this cobblestone that's up here. I've placed since the fact everything that is dug out of here was appetite ore. I got so much appetite and I, I, it was just sticking out right here, like it, just these two blocks. And then I dug in and I just kept widening out and I just kept running into appetite, appetite, appetite. And it, I, I don't even remember how much I got off of this, a ridiculous amount. But uh, I left it in here for two reasons. One, to show you, because this is just a ridiculous amount of space for one vein of ore to take up. And two, because we're probably going to build a machine in there. Let me see if I can find anything else that is worth updating you on. Are these uh, electric furnaces are just iron furnaces with electronic circuits and redstone in the crafting recipe. I have two of them, one for quickie stuff and then one that... Uh, gets fed in how we doing here that extractor's done very good let's climb up and put that away right in here 
Oh, the, uh, let me see if I have any in here to show you, or did I use it all? Looks like I used it all. The cables that were down there are glass fiber cables. They're very expensive. Um, let me pull it up here. Spelled the British way. So it takes a diamond and it only makes four if you use redstone. It will make six if you use silver. And if you use electrum, which is silver and gold mixed together, it makes eight. So that's your best bet. So when you're pulverizing your ores, you pulverize your gold and your silver, you may want to pull some gold and silver dust aside, mix them together in, a, in your crafting grid, and then that gives you electrum dust, and then you can smelt that into electrum ingots. So that will give you the highest yield in your glass fiber cables, because these, these shiny blue rocks, they do not uh, occur very often. So you don't want to have to use them more than absolutely necessary. Uh, let's see. Nothing. Oh, this I did want to talk about this and then this. The miner's backpack. This is a very cool little feature that I crafted up off camera. Just some string, some iron, a chest, a couple pieces of wool. Doesn't matter what the color is. Gives you a miner's backpack. And what's cool about the miner's backpack is when you mine ores and you pick them up, they will first fill up these 15 slots in your inventory so that you can essentially carry more stuff back from your caving trips or your strip mining trips or your branch mining trips, which is what I've been doing down at the bottom of this deep, dark, deep, dark pit. And uh, it saves you time running back and forth. Also, finally found some bauxite. I am super excited for the bauxite because uh, it is our path to titanium which we need for a quarry uh, because we need it for a an advanced iron drill, the upgrade to this puppy. So we're going to go ahead and make our industrial electrolyzer. This took a couple of components that I made ahead of time. An extractor, which is I talked about before. I've got one of those down below for rubber. An electrolyzer, which uh, I'm not exactly sure what you'd use it for by itself. But that's the recipe for that. And then a magnetizer, which required these iron fences, which is just the fence pattern with refined iron. Gives you 12, I only needed two. The other 10 are in that gold chest over there. All of that together gives you an industrial electrolyzer. And it tells you right on this little tooltip, max EU per packet in, 128, which means we can sit this directly on top of our MFE that I've got sticking up down here, like so. And there we go. This is a Greg Tech item. It does not exist in vanilla industrial craft, but this is our ticket to bauxite. So what we need is, or not our ticket to bauxite, we have bauxite. That's our ticket to titanium. So if we look at bauxite dust and we go with press U for usage and we wait for it to process everything, we come over here, 12 bauxite makes you a tiny pile of titanium dust, some aluminum dust, and a bunch of cells. We're gonna need eight empty cells for every 12 bauxite that we want to process. And we need eight pile, tiny piles of titanium dust to make us two regular piles of titanium dust uh, in order to cook up actual titanium ingots. So that means we need to do 48 bauxite and we need to do it with 32 tin cells. So let's make our cells first. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I think I need more than this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's only 16, so go around again, using up most of my tin for this. All right, very good. And what's the next thing I need? I actually need the bauxite. So we need to do, I want to do 48 bauxite. 
in this thing. And this should do the job. Just pop these in here and then pop this in here. And off we go. Yes. All right. Yeah, there's nothing over here that we need. Where's the bauxite recipe? This, nope, that's pyrite. We got some of that too from the nether. We can we can process that. And cinnabar dust, we got a bunch of that. All right. Yep, 12. Doesn't need anything else. It's going to take 100 seconds. So we're going to go ahead and take a commercial break now and come back to this once all of it has processed because it's 100 seconds per group of 12 here to get the result. So see you in a bit. All right, and we're back. Uh, rather than just sit around off camera waiting for this to completely finish, I figured might as well get to work on the next phase. Because here's the thing. Titanium, not something that you can work with in just any old furnace. Titanium dust can only be used in an industrial blast furnace to give us the titanium ingots that we need. And the funny thing about a, uh, or a industrial blast furnace is that it doesn't actually, it's not one block that you craft. You actually have to make a bunch of these machine casings. Just like the uh, regular blast furnace that was going to involve the blast furnace brick that needed all that magma cream. It's the same concept here, except instead of the blast furnace brick, we're going to use standard machine casing because it's the cheapest and it's all we really need right now. There are two tiers above this that ha can handle additional materials, but I think that this is all we actually need. So this recipe, six refined iron, um, this is a regular electronic circuit on either side and then a machine block in the middle. That will make us four. We need nine on the top, nine on the bottom is 18. 8 and 8 is 16, 18 and 16 is 34. So we're going to have to make 36 of these, unfortunately. So let's get started. So for 36 of those, we actually need 9 of these. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Very good. Then we need a whole bunch of, we're going to need, where is my, I got my circuit plan and my copper cable plan. So we're going to need a decent amount of copper cable. Uh, we need six per circuit. We need two circuits per thing. So we need, uh, that's 18 circuits. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. All right. And then electronic circuits. Hopefully this will get us the 18 that we need. Oh, look at all those resources go away. All right, 18 of those. Very good. Then the recipe was like this. Machine block. Oops, one of those on either side, and we need 36 of these. And there we go. All right, let's go ahead and place these in the meantime. Uh, you know what else we're going to need? We're going to need some lava. I've got one here, but we're going to need to go get another one. So first, safety first, we're going to drop off anything we don't really need. We're going to run to the nether real quick and grab a bucket of lava. The reason we need lava is because the, there are two spaces in the center of this structure that are actually open or hollow. And uh, we don't need... Oh, lag. It's always a little worse when I'm recording. Where's my hole now? There it is. Um, we don't need to leave those spaces empty. As a matter of fact, oops, that's the wrong direction. It's better if we do not leave them empty and instead we pick up uh, lava to put in those two holes. 
because they will actually increase the machine's uh, heat capacity, I think, is what it's measuring. And basically make the machine perform better as a blast furnace. So let's pop into here. Oh, lagging out. There we go. All right, let's go back up and grab that machine casing. There it is. I got my two buckets of lava. Excellent. You know what? I'm going to grab the wrench as well. Just in case. I'm not sure. Stupid teleporting cows. <laughs> I'm not sure whether these will break horribly or not. I think they do. But uh, let's see. It needs to be three by three. And I think you put it at the bottom. So let's do it this way. Uh, that's the best way to do this that I can still get through here. Let's go ahead and just knock this out entirely. And we'll go there. I like the way these connect. That looks pretty cool. Like it knows what it's doing. Oh, I don't have a whole lot of room up here because th this is actually the logging area directly above our heads. And I have to take this out to make room. That should be fine. All right, one bucket of lava in there. Oh, I can't get back out this way if I do this. Hold on. <laughs> Thinking ahead. Oh, don't fall in. Okay, and then there. Let's put another bucket of lava in right there. And then... Oof. Don't do that. All right, hold on. Let's put this back in place so I can hover at a good level. Excellent. And then boom, 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 boom. Oh! All right, look, hopefully this doesn't destroy it. Okay, that seemed to work. Like that. All right. Next. Um, we're actually gonna need to run power over here at some point. But next, let's place, let's get our lamp back in here. And the next thing that we actually need to make is the industrial blast furnace itself. So let me put these machine casings away. And let's look that up real quick. Uh, blast furnace. Industrial Blast Furnace, that's the thing we need. Oh, good heavens. Uh, all right, it needs an induction furnace. It needs an advanced machine block, which needs, oh. Hmm, we're not gonna get very far on this, this episode, because we've actually got quite a bit of stuff to make. Um, first things first, this carbon plating it's going to require a decent amount of coal dust, which, unfortunately, the only way you can get coal dust, to my knowledge, is with a macerator, not a... Let's see, that's coal dust, right? Now, did I go to usages? I don't want usages. I want recipes, fossilized. All right, that's not giving it to me, but I'm pretty sure that I, I can't just take... You know, I've got this coal here. I'm pretty sure I can't just pulverize the coal. I don't think that's going to work. Well, maybe it will. Let's see what it gives us. Oh, it's going to go out the darn pipe. That's not what I want. Hold on. Let's turn that off. There we go. 
Oh, it will give us coal dust. Well, fantastic. We can at least do that. And in order to do this, where is it? Industrial blast furnace. So we gotta we gotta backtrack quite a ways for this. We're gonna start with the making a couple of induction furnaces. Which require electric furnaces and copper. That we've got, we can make those no problem. But this advanced machine block, we gotta go back to this. Regular machine block, carbon plate is one of the things that we're looking at. Carbon plate is a raw carbon mesh and a compressor. Raw carbon mesh is two carbon fibers. A carbon fiber is four coal dust. So, let's go back here. We need two carbon plates per induction furnace. So we really need four carbon plates minimum for this recipe. So four of these means four of these means eight of these means 32 of these. So we actually only needed about half a stack. Uh, and I don't have this on. Rather than hooking up a lever to this to turn it on and off, I just go into the control panel. Wow, that's some lag. I just go into the control panel and I toggle what the redstone control requirements are. So now it's low signal, which is equivalent to none. It's like they're talking low and high as in voltage. So what do we got here? We got 11. Uh, there's a 12th one going, then another 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. That doesn't seem right at all. What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? We got 11 here. Well, whatever. I'm sure I will need more of this stuff in the future, so I'm just going to do the whole stack. So that'll just sit in there. I didn't want that going over and trying to cook, because that would be a little ridiculous. Let's see what else we need in the meantime. Electronic circuits, we can do that. Um, yep, same thing on both sides. Advanced, another advanced machine block. So we need... Whoops. Stupid thing. So we need more of these again we're also going to need these which is a mixed metal ingot and a compressor we'll give you that a mixed metal ingot requires a rolling machine and it looks like the most efficient use of materials for this i think i saw a nine flash by let's see that involves tungsten steel ingot vacuum hardened yeah well we don't have any of those <laughs> Oh, so we got tungsten ingots we can't make yet. Uh, titanium we can't make. That's why we're doing this. We got invar, bronze, aluminum. We can't make aluminum ingots yet. You need the blast furnace for that as well. That's aluminum. So it looks like we probably have to go this route. No. Uh, where is it? Tungsten. Titanium again. Invar, brass, tin. I could do invar, brass, and tin. That'll get us four. So how do we get brass again? Brass we get from brass dust, which we get from uh, three copper dust and a zinc dust. I wonder if you can just combine three copper and a zinc in ingot mode. Let's find out. Three copper and a zinc. By our powers combined, nothing happens. Well, that's exciting. <laughs> so apparently it's going to have to be the dust to be able to combine those together. I don't think there was any other way to make brass. Let's see. Smelting brass stuff, sure. Oh, and an alloy furnace. Oh, I have one of those. Excellent. I did actually make one of those. How much brass do I need? Probably a lot. Let's just go ahead and grab a stack of that, stack of that. I'm not going to use the whole stack of things, but this here is an alloy furnace. I had completely glossed over this earlier. But the alloy furnace is a red power thing, which is where brass comes from. We'll 
power it up like that. And then if we put the nickel in and we do the copper like this. No? Does it need to be exact proportions? That's nickel. Heaven's sakes. I need, I need zinc. Maybe that's why it wasn't working. Will it just will it work now if I just do this? Now that I'm not a goofball? No. It still needs to dial a furnace. It needs an alloy furnace, guys. No, what is it? <laughs> Copper and tin. What am I doing? Copper and tin. I need tin. I have like no tin now. All right, well, I think this is probably gonna be where I stop. Cause I'm, where's my tin? I have eight tin, that's all I got. That's very bad place to be. Where? Let me try this mixed metal thing. Mixed metal ingot. Let's see, refined iron, bronze, and tin. Bronze being... Uh, bronze being... I want smelting. I want smelting. I don't have, okay. Bronze being copper and tin just mixed together like that. So, yeah, I could do that. I'm gonna need to go tin hunting, I think. Well, I think that's gonna do it for this episode simply because we have run out of time. But we have our bauxite has all electrolyzed. Let's at least take a look at this. We have our tiny pile of titanium dust. It is now two piles of titanium dust. And once we get that blast furnace up and running, we will have titanium ingots for an advanced diamond mining drill, which is what we need for the quarry. So that's where we're gonna cut it for here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you next time.